entire episode and the allegations that are being leveled by both sides. The T TMC has alleged there's a BJP NI collusion. But as far as the NI is concerned, NI says that they took an action after a court order. Let's take you through the timeline, the charges that the TMC has leveled. According to TMC, on the 26th of March, BJP's Jitendra Tiwari met NISP Dhanram Singh. And as far as uh, the case timeline is concerned, uh, the NI, remember, is going by the court's order. And let's take you through the case itself. On the 3rd of December 2022, an explosion took place in a house in Bhupati Nagar. In that particular explosion, three people were killed. And it is in this case that the uh, NIA is uh, taking this action of arresting individuals. Uh, cops filed an FIR, but no Explosive Substances Act was included. Uh, on 21st of March, 2023, plea in High Court questioning investigation by the cops. So there was a plea filed in the High Court that questioned the manner in which the investigation was being conducted by the state police. So Calcutta High Court transferred the case to NI. So it was the Calcutta High Court that handed over the case to the NI on the 21st of March 2023. Take a look at the charges. March 26, Abhishek Banerjee says BJP's uh, Neta met the NISP, handed over a list of TMC Netas who need to be arrested. And you saw that on the 21st of March, in fact, it was the court in 2023. It was the court that handed over the case to the NI. Then on the 4th of June 2023, NI takes over the investigation and it files a fresh FIR in the case. Moving on, 3rd of April 2024, accused skipped repeated summonses. Summons were continuously being issued to the accused used to were skipping it. On the 3rd of April 2024, special NI court said allegations very serious. All these observations right from handing over the case to the NI to saying that it was a very serious case. All of these developments are happening in the court. April 3rd, court says proceed as expeditiously as possible. So the disdirection also came in from the special NI court to the agency that you need to proceed as expeditiously as possible. And it was on the basis of this that the NI took action. Now we're given to understand 10 member TMC delegation is going to meet the election commission of India. The delegation is going to take the issue of uh, NI arresting these uh, individuals to the election commission of India uh, meeting to take place at 4 p.m. That's the update that we're getting. It's a 10 member TMC delegation that has sought time from the ECI. Adrija is getting us more details on that. Adrija, the NI has responded. NI says we are acting as per court's order. TMC says this is nothing but vendetta politics. They have now sought time from the election commission of India to raise the issue. Well, absolutely, you see, the NIA, when they went to raid the uh, areas in East Midnapur regarding the blast that has taken place a couple of years ago, they arrested two people who were associated with the TMC party. And right after that, we saw TMC coming out and strongly condemning this act, questioning the timing when NIA officers are going and, you know, arresting people. First of all, it's ahead of the election. And second of all, uh, when they were attacked, what the TMC in fact, Mamta Banerjee herself have said that, you know, they should have uh, informed the local administration of the police, which was not done. And also it was like in, in a very odd timing. It was in the middle of the night. So the village was scared and therefore... Yes. They were attacked. Also, uh, get us the latest, Adrija, in terms of who uh, the members are going to be part of the delegation. Who are these leaders? You see, today uh, at around 8.30, they will be taking a flight to uh, Delhi. In the delegation, there will be Derek O'Brien, Saket Gokhale, Sagarika Ghosh, uh, Vivek Gupta. Uh, these people will be present uh, and they will be meeting at around 4 p.m. the Election Commission of India's bench. They have seeked an uh, appointment and right after that, they are also expected, you know, to come out and uh, speak to the media. But how, they, uh, one of the major uh, things that is there right. in the... Uh, in the delegation that they will be uh, submitting to the ECI, that is a level playing field should be established, especially in the state of West Bengal. All right, stay on with us, Adrija. We also have Ankit joining us from the newsroom with uh, the latest by Abhishek Banerjee. He's put out another uh, post, I believe. So the TMC continues to target the NI and through the NI, of course, the BJP. So, Swati, yesterday we saw the NIA put out a statement clarifying the reasons why it had gone and conducted its searches and arrested.
with the two leaders. We have the statement here on Twitter. Now, interestingly, the NIA did not comment on the allegations of the meeting allegedly between the BJP leader and the NIA SP. And so, accordingly, Abhishek Banerjee has asked, Dear NIA India, please clarify, if Jitendar Tiwari of the BJP met your SP Dhanram Singh at his residence in Kolkata on the 26th of March while the model code of conduct was in effect. Additionally, we have information suggesting he arrived with the parcel and left empty-handed after 52 minutes. So this is the part of the allegations that the NIA did not cover in its press release and that is the part on which Abhishek Banerjee and the Trinamool Congress in general have been making allegation after allegation of collusion between the BJP and the NIA and that is one of the aspects which it is likely that the TMC will take forward in its attack on the NIA and in its collusion charges today when it meets the Election Commission of India. Right, stay on with us, Ankit. Let me uh, take that uh, with uh, Adrija. Adrija, Abhishek uh, Banerjee once again stressing on this meeting between the NIA SP and the BJP leader. Well, absolutely, the TMC.